If you like this content, please watch the full video. Hit like, leave a comment below, and subscribe. Thank you. So I was supposed to have a date tonight at 7 p.m. It is now 7.43 p.m. And as you can see, I am not on my date. I am at home with my dog. Yeah, and I'm sure that's where you like to be, at home with your dog. That's what a lot of women are doing these days. Feels great, huh? Why is it that you ask? Oh, because the date I was supposed to go on, that was confirmed, the time and place. Oh, he has magically disappeared. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had texted him to let him know I was going to be running like two minutes behind. I there is no running like two minutes behind. That's 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or two hours. Two minutes behind? Come on, lady. I had a work call that ran late, and my text didn't go through. Weird. Because you're lying. We've all heard that before. Oh, my text didn't go through. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Is it because you got an Android? Is it because you got an iPhone? Because they don't like each other. Come on now. Stop playing games. Your text didn't go through because you didn't send it. And you thought because the guy liked you that you could just show up late and do all these things. It's always a power move with women. They do a lot of these things to see how men are going to react. And if you accept them disrespecting you, they're going to run all over you because it's like an open lane for them. This is what they do. So I called straight to voicemail. We all know what the fuck that means. That means I have been stood up and blocked minutes before my date. Got fully ready to go. Didn't think twice about it because he was texting me up until about 4.40. Just shut a little over two hours before the date. Somebody make it make sense before I fucking lose my- Stop playing games. You played games. You knew what you were going to be late. You told this guy, I'm going to be there on time. Sure, I'm going to be there. And then all of a sudden, oh, I have this late work call. Oh, something got me caught up. Oh, I sent a text message, but apparently it didn't go through. You played games. You wanted to see if you could show up late and the guy would still be there because then you got a one up on him. Then it's the power move. Stop playing games. Men are tired of it. Men don't want to keep wasting their time. If you're not going to be prompt and you're not going to be on time like you expect a man to be, then don't get mad when men just decide to not deal with you and just move on to the next. Because once you start playing these games, you need to understand this, ladies. There's so many women playing these type of games. And there's so many men that are single that are unfortunately on these dating sites and doing stuff like that. As soon as they see women start to play these games, they're just going to leave you alone. They're not going to deal with it because there's so many women playing them. You know, nobody's going to believe this. Oh, I sent a text message and I guess it didn't go through. Or I'm going to be there at four o'clock, but... Oh, something ran late. I'm going to be there at 4.30, 4.45 or something like that. It don't fly, ladies. You're not appreciating a man's time, his effort, or anything like that. A lot of men, quite frankly, these days don't even want to go on dates at all because of stuff like this. So when you do things like this, expect to be blocked. Expect to be ignored. Expect to be ghosted because men are fed up with it. Stop it! Be honest. You're supposed to be there before the time. You're supposed to show that you're responsible and that you really want to meet the guy. Get there a couple minutes before. All this being late, nobody don't have time for that. Do you understand that our most valuable resource in life is time? That's one thing we can never get back. People don't want to waste it. And unfortunately, there's a lot of women like you that are out here in this dating market playing a lot of these games and men don't want to deal with it. And another thing you need to understand if you're a woman out there doing this, having a dog, being a certain age, those are all red flags. What do you mean reef having a dog? Because women that have a lot of animals that have dogs that treat animals like children are missing something in their lives. They've let something go or they've never attained something. Maybe they don't even have their own children because they did messed up and wasted so much time. And now all their focus on is on dogs. 
You look at dating sites, all these dating profiles, they got dogs propped up like their children. That's a sign for men. Like, what's up with this woman? Not being punctual. That's a sign. Being, being a certain age. Well, why are you this age and you're single? Well, I'm divorced. Well, why did you get divorced? All these things. You already have a lot of negative points on you already. Men are looking at all these things. So when you start playing games, it's easy. Just, I'm out. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not going to deal with it. I'm not going to deal with the lies and excuses because the next time it will be another lie and it'll be another excuse. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Because this is, what, this is what a lot of women do. And for you fellas out there watching this, understand that women are always going to test your masculinity. It could be in the smallest way or the biggest way, but they're always going to to try to test that. They're going to see if you're going to lower your standards, waste your time and do all these things just to accommodate them. That might seem great in the beginning, but they will not respect you for that. She's just mad because this man didn't put up with her garbage and left her alone. That's why she's upset. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.